As an Office 365 developer, you might be looking for a trial account of Office 365. In this video, you will see how you can get a trial account or we can say a development environment for your Office 365 development activities. So let's get started. Hi all, my name is Mayuresh Zoshi from Office365Notes.com. Office365Notes.com is a blog where I share the tutorials related to different Office 365 products like SharePoint, Power Apps, MS Flow, etc. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel to get daily updates related to Office 365. Now, to get a trial account for SharePoint or Office 365, just search Office 365 E3. You will get the first link which is Office 365 E3 on Microsoft.com. Just click on that. So here uh, you can see you have the option to buy it or uh, go with free trial. So if you see under Office 365 E3 license, you will get all the products of Office 365 like SharePoint and MS Teams as well. So just click on free trial. So it will ask for a few information like uh, your email address. So just put your email address. Click on next. So it will say looks like you need to create a new account. So just click on setup account. Give your name. Click on next. So it will send a verification code on your mobile. Click on verify. So it will then ask create your business identity. So just put your business name. You can put anything. So if the availability is present, now say it, it's saying uh, it's not available. So you need to put something else. put it as dev yes so click on next now it will ask you to create a username and password so this username and password will be your uh, login credentials for um, accessing that e3 license so give something like my name then uh, your password Then click on sign up. So it will say creating your account.
yeah so our account is created so this is our user id copy it now uh, go to the setup so you will be landed to the microsoft 365 admin center then um, you can exit this setup let us know why you are leaving the setup okay just leave it now you can see uh, this setup is completed now if you want to uh, navigate to your SharePoint portal what you can do is just click on these dots and here you can see a SharePoint right so just click on that yeah click on SharePoint so yeah it's saying we are still working on getting the file set up on SharePoint this should take us a few minutes okay perfect now you can see our sharepoint site is ready you can see office 365 notes dev dot sharepoint dot com so this is our sharepoint portal now if you want to create any um, uh, different team site or you want to navigate to your admin center so just uh, after your domain just put admin and hit enter yes so now you are in sharepoint admin center where you can click on sites and you can click on active sites now you can see that we do not have any currently site present or we just have one communication site which is a default one if you want to create any new site just click on create Click on team site or communication site, whatever you want. I'll put it as dev. Mm. This site address will be now like this office c65.com slash sites slash dev. And just uh, group owner will be my Yurish. And then click on next. So it's creating a site now and click on finish. Okay, now you can see the site is ready. You can just open this site by clicking on the URL and here we go. So now we, we are all set up for our development environment. Now you can start working on your development activities like creating any SharePoint framework app or anything you want. So. Um, to see the uh, your license you can just go to your admin and here you can see I guess it will be under billing and licenses So here you can see now we have office 365 e3 license and for one of the user we have assigned so now you can create a 24 other user licenses under this e3 license so if you if you want to see the uh, expiry date for this license you can click on your products or i guess under bills and payments it will be but let's see yes now you can see the billing is free and it's it's it, it's expiring on 4th of november and also uh, you can uh, extend the trial or this will auto or it will auto automatically get extended once the trial period expires so you don't need to pay anything for now 
If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.